Hello. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to do the intro. Uh, today's gonna be a long day. Uh, we have a run to Portland, which from Seattle is roughly two and a half, three hours. Mm -hmm. And then we have a vehicle that's been abandoned in the whole rainforest. Yep, not on the coast. So that'll so. be another four or five hours to get out to that. So we have quite the day ahead of us. So so we're starting the day at getting the diesel, yeah, getting dev, up. making sure our oil's cool, yeah. and heading out. Checking our fluids and then, yeah, I'm going for it. So we'll probably pick you up here and uh, load the car. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Okay. Alrighty, we are here hooking up our first vehicle. Daniel's putting on their straps, getting ready to head down to Portland. It does say four by four, however, it is can go up into two high, and so then we can tow it from the back without using dollies. Car was broken into, and the ignition was messed up so much that couldn't start the vehicle. So here we are getting ready to tow. dropping off the vehicle now and then we'll get headed towards the Ho Rainforest. A quick pit stop at Schilling Cider House here in Portland because they have a full gluten-free kitchen and that's what we're having for lunch. We have been driving for quite some time now and we're not even there yet to the second car. We are about two hours out from our second pickup of the day out in the Ho Rainforest out on the coast of Washington. That's H O H. H O H. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, out on the 101 and headed up the coast. Here we go. Well, the sun has come out, stops raining for a short while, and we have stopped at the Claylock Campground in hopes to go see the Tree of Life. Here we go. Dang, the views from the office. It's been a good, pretty good day. Well, here we are, tree of life. It's clinging, as you can see, if I don't get my jeans wet, since I decided not to wear my work boots today clinging between the two cliff sides and it's wild because the last time I was out here back in 21 I think you could walk up underneath the tree and they say in the next year or so it might not be able to be clinging between the two Setting up the dollies on this one since it's an all-wheel drive car. So the car will be all the way off the ground for us to tow it. So we just picked up our second car. It is now officially dark and yeah. it is eight o'clock. So in the Ho Ray Forest where we have lots of trees covering so it makes it even darker. How are you feeling? Super excited. Super excited? Super what, what's excited. ahead of us? We don't know. There's don't nothing. Know. It's dark. Well, we have a four and a half hour drive back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
hoping to catch one of the last ferries. That way we don't have to drive that much farther. Yeah, but odds are unfortunately against us because now we have dollies down and can only go so fast. And we'll have to stop to re refuel uh -huh. and you know, the whole thing. Yeah. It's really great. But it's been a good day so far, honestly. Can't complain about, you know, the financial outcome of the situation. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't think it's complaining as much as we've still got a lot of left ahead of us. Yeah, the we're not done. Is, the day is not done. The day may be almost over. It's 8 o'clock, but the day is not over for us. No. Nope. So, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. <laughs> The rain sure is put the rain in rain for us. Am I right? So right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, there's still four miles left. <laughs> Dang it. Well, it's midnight. We're on a ferry. Last leg of the trip before we drop off the second car. And then uh, head home and go to sleep. Midnight. Feeling great. Ferry at midnight. A little spooky. No one else is around. So dark, you can't even see outside. Docking in Seattle. Headed to drop off location for our last vehicle of the day. Well, cars dropped. That was exciting. Super exciting. So exciting. Now, onwards to our home. It's only 1 a.m. To go to sleep. It's only, yeah, it's only 1 a.m. It's fine. It's casual. The best part is, there's a real chance I'll get a phone call in the next 45 minutes to go back to work. It's probable. That usually happens as soon as we get home because we're so excited to get home. As soon as we either turn the truck off or we walk through the house. It's usually boots on. Yeah. The shoes have already come off. The phone will ring. So hopefully we get to sleep a few hours. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, otherwise, good night.